Good afternoon, everyone. So it's my pleasure to speak with you uh, about case studies of using alternative reference standard in bioequivalent study. So this is the standard di disclaimer. So for my presentation, well, I will start with the background information, maybe review the definition of reference list drug and reference standard, and the general consideration for agency to in select reference standard. And I will discuss the alternative options for reference standard when the reference standard is not available or with limited market dispute distribution. The core of the presentation will focus on some of the case studies drawn from control correspondence submitted to FDA. And I'll finish the presentation with take home messages. So FDA identified reference list drug and uh, reference standard in the orange book. And RD is the list of drug to which the ANDA applicant must show its proposed generic drug is the same with respect to active ingredient, dosage form, raw administration, strength, labeling, and condition of use, among other characteristics. Reference standard is the specific drug product selected by FDA that the AND applicant must use in conducting any in vivo and in vitro bioequivalent testing required to support approval of its ANDA. So ordinary FDA select the highest strength of the RLD as the reference standard. Uh, when select a new reference standard, when the RLD is no longer marketed, or the selection will prevent a shortage, or FDA confirm that the quantity of the RLD in the distribution is not sufficient for testing, Generally, FDA will select a previous approved ANDA, which is therapeutically equivalent to the RD and is the generic market leader. There are some other uh, factors to consider in selecting the new RS. Um, for example, FDA select the uh, ANDA that contains all strengths, which can facilitate the drug development or the FDA may con uh, consider select the ANDA contain the study strings per the PSG. So in this slide, you can see in many cases, the IS is the RD, and in some case, the IS is the proved ANDA when the RD is discontinued. So a potential applicant may submit control correspondent to ask FDA to select RS when they encountered the issue like RS was not, uh, was not designated in the orange book, RS is moved to the discontinued section, and uh, they found that quantity of the reference standard and distribution is so limited and not sufficient for testing, or if they feel like the, um, the current designated RS is not appropriate. So if the agency select a new reference standard, the product generally will remain their reference standard, even if the original reference standard resume market. Uh, in this slide, for uh, example of Dr. Rubinson liposome injectable, the RD is the uh, NDA, uh, the IS is the approved ANDA. So what are the options? Uh, when the uh, IS and RD is not available or with limited availability. The option includes using authorized generic version of the RD, use other approved ANDA based on the same RD, use different strengths of the reference standard, or using a different dosage form of another RD or IS for the same broad administration based on public available bridging studies conducted by the innovator. For the fixed dose combination product, the option including using individual component of a fixed dose combination drug product when there was supportive evidence. So the applicant can use 
The other approved ANDA, which was previously designated as a reference standard, when the current designated uh, reference standard is unavailable and the applicant procured, procured the um, previous uh, IS before uh, IS was discontinued and the product is unexpired. The applicant can use RD instead of currently designated IS when both RD and IS are on the market or uh, the the applicant procured the RD before the RD is discontinued and the product is unexpired. So what is the authorized generic drug? So FDA published the list of authorized generic drug on the website. And the authorized generic drug is the same drug product as the RD under the same NDA. It is therapeutic equivalent to the RD it may have different color, labeling, packaging, NDC number, but it does not carry the trade name in the labeling. It can be marketed by brand name company or other company with permission. The NDA holder needs to submit information on the annual report to notify marketing of the authorized generic. And then an AND applicant uh, with proper documentation may use the authorized generic for the bioequivalent studies. So let's explore the case studies from inquiries in the control correspondence submitted to FDA. The first case is an example of using other strands of the reference standard. Uh, the applicant could not obtain the RD and the reference standard of 1,000 milligram or a tablet. Uh, they ask whether they can conduct bioequivalent study using two times 500 milligram strands of the reference versus one times 1,000 milligram of the test product. The FDA confirmed that the current IS and LD of 1,000 milligram strands is not available in the U.S. market, and there's no proved AND at the time, and the reference. 500 milligram strength has been shown to be by equivalent to the 1,000 milligram strength of the reference um, conducted by NDA applicant. Therefore, FDA responds to the applicant that their proposal is acceptable. Uh, case number two is an example of using different dose form for the same rod administration. So the RD for 600 milligram oral tablet is not av available. So an applicant asks if they can conduct by equivalent study using one 600 milligram tablet versus one capsule of 400 milligram AND1 and, and one capsule of 200 milligram AND2 refer to the same RD. So the agency confirmed there there's no approved AND for 600 milligram oral tablet uh, on the market. Uh, under a different NDA, the 400 milligram AND1 is the designated reference standard for oral capsule. And the NDA holder for tablet and the capsule are the same. And also the oral, uh, NDA applicant demonstrate the bioequivalent between these two products. Uh, generally, uh, combining, combining two Different AND as a reference standard is not encouraged. The agency also confirmed that uh, AND2 was no longer marketed and moved it to the discontinued session. And no, uh, we also confirmed that no safety concern uh, for using a higher dose of 1,200 milligram dose in the in vivo study. At the time assessment, we also confirmed that 200 and 300 milligram AND1 was, um, was approved, uh, but has not been marketed. Therefore, the FDA respond to the applicant that uh, their proposal is not acceptable. We recommend them conducting the biocon study using either 600 milligram tablet test versus two times 300 milligram capsule from AND1 
if uh, that 300 milligram capsule become available in the market, or they can choose to conduct two times 600 milligram tablet test versus three times 400 milligram capsule from ANDA1. The third case is about oral sublingual tablets. And the RD for oral sublingual tablet is uh, no longer available. And the FDA asking agency to provide specific guidance on appropriate reference standards. The agency confirmed there's no approved ANDA for the oral sublingual tablets. And there's no federal register determination or pending citizen petition regarding reason of withdrawal for the RD. And the bioequivalence of oral sublingual tablets to other approved dosage form was not established. Therefore, the agency responded to applicant that the agency is unable to identify an approved reference standard at this time. So the fourth case is about oral tablet. Um, they, uh, the applicant asks whether they can conduct the relative bioavailability study between tablets and oral solution to support the bioequivalence because the RD for the oral tablet has been discontinued. So the agency confirmed there's no approved oral solution or other dosage form, and the oral solution manufactured by the applicant is not an FDA-approved drug product and no scientific basis to bridge tablets to unapproved oral solution. Therefore, the FDA respond to the applicant that their proposed alternative approach is not acceptable, and the agency is unable to identify an appropriate reference standard at this time. Uh, case number five is for fixed dose combination product. The RD for the fixed dose combination product has been discontinued. So the applicant asks whether they conduct they can conduct bioequivalent study compare the fixed dose combination prod, uh, oral tablet to co-administrated individual oral, tab, oral tablets. The agency confirmed there's no approved uh, ANDA for fixed dose combination drug product. Uh, no determination whether the RD was withdrawn for self from sale for safety and efficacy reason. The ND applicant demonstrated the bioequivalence between the fixed dose combination product and the co-administrated co individual component. Therefore, uh, FDA uh, respond to the applicant, their proposal is acceptable. Uh, uh, they need to submit or refer to a citizen petition uh, seeking a safety or efficacy de determination for the uh, listed drug before uh, at the time as any future ANDA submission. For case number six, it's a different from case number five. The uh, NDA applicant did not conduct any study to compare the fixed dose combination product and the co individual component. And also the applicant did not provide any information to support the bioequivalence. Therefore, um, agency respond to the applicant that th their proposed alternative approach is not acceptable. The agency is unable to identify any uh, appropriate reference standard at this time. To summarize my presentation, um, alternative reference that may be used to establish BE and support generic drug approval in some instance. If the RD is discontinued, the applicant should submit or reference a citizen petition to determine whether the withdrawal of the RD from sale was for safety and efficacy reason before or at the time of ANDA submission. For any question on the alternative reference standard, contact FDA via control correspondence before conducting uh, the study. And the agency's selection of an alternative reference standard is based on confirmation uh, of the unavailability or limited availability of the current reference standard and uh, relevant scientific consideration. So these, uh, this slide lists uh, several uh, resources that I use for preparing my presentation. And I would also want to acknowledge my FD colleagues 
uh, Dr. Cole, uh, she's in the audience and she's also expert for this uh, area. And also Ming, uh, Hongli and Bing uh, for helping me prepare, uh, prepare the slides and also the Office of Generic Drug Policy and all the uh, Division of Biochemists Assessor team who assess these uh, control correspondence. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. And I will pass on to Dr. Fan from the next presentation. Thank you.